Okay, so how much basic math do you really understand? Well, if you have pretty strong basic math skills, you should be able to easily solve this problem without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have the square root of parentheses 16 divided by uh, 2 times 2 and parentheses. Now we do have a multiple choice uh, question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 2, B is 4, C is 8, and D is 16. All right, so once again, no calculators, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through and explain the solution to this problem step by step. A lot of you are going to be shocked that you're going to get this problem wrong. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is our problem. Again, we have the square root of parentheses 16 divided by two times two. Now I'm gonna encourage all of you out there that are really going to try to get this right to take out a piece of paper and write out each step. Because uh, if you get this wrong, you, you can identify the step that you don't understand. So try not to do this in your brain, but let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer here is B, which is four. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus for your achievement in basic mathematics. Congratulations. Now, a lot of you may have answered with two. Okay, so this is probably the number one uh, most common wrong answer. And if you got eight or 16, well, don't uh, dis you know despair. I'm going to explain all of this right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. So we have the square root of parentheses, 16 divided by 2 times 2. Now, assuming you know how to multiply and divide basic numbers and you understand the concept of square root, uh, you know, you should be able to answer the question. But if you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't really understand any of this. What should I do? Well, just take a guess. And uh, this is a little tip for those of you that are still math students or still have to take math exams. Never, ever leave a math question blank. So you might say, I don't know, 16 looks pretty good. Well, unfortunately, that's wrong. But a lot of you were certain that two was the right answer. So you might be saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's what I got. I know I'm right and you're wrong. Well, you know, not so quick. Matter of fact, if you want to uh, check my work, okay, i.e. just to be convinced that four is the answer, you can plug this into your calculator, but you gotta be very careful here. So you need to uh, type in the square root function and then put parentheses, 16 divided by two times two and parentheses, and you'll see that indeed the correct answer is four. All right, so uh, what's going on here? Well, there's a few things, right? So here is our problem, and it seems pretty easy, and it is easy, but of course you have to understand the fundamental principles of basic mathematics, and there is a critical one that's going on here. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the problem this way. So uh, for most people, they uh, approach the problem in one or two uh, ways, okay? So the either looked at this problem, and most people said, all right, before I take the square root of this um, number, I gotta figure out what all this is equal to. So everyone, well, uh, hopefully everyone, focused in right here, and I said, okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what this number is equal to. So you have two options here, right? You can go, well, 16 divided by two, do this first, then multiply that by two, or you could have started the problem as 16 divided by two times two. So it really depends on how you started the problem. Did you start the problem by multiplication or did you start the problem by division? Well, let's go ahead and see what happens when we play out both scenarios. So if you started with division, we're gonna have 16 divided by two and then we'll do this math and then multiply by two and go from there. All right, so 16 divided by two is eight, right? So hopefully everyone understands that. And now we have eight times two, which is 16. So the next step here is what? We're gonna take the square root of 16. So the square root of 16 is four. 
All right, so if this is the way you did the problem, that is correct, but it's possible that you just got lucky. Or like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I just uh, you know did division first, but you know this doesn't seem wrong to me either. So what's going on? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the problem if we do multiplication first. So we're gonna have two times two. So two times two is four, nothing wrong with that answer. So we have 16 divided by four, that's four, that's uh, perfectly fine. And the square root of four is two. So this is correct as well. Now, a lot of you might be saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what gives, uh, this is a little bit confusing for, for me. You know, both answers seem correct. Well, one is right, this one is right, and this one is not right. And what was the difference between the two problems? Well, it was the order, okay? So for some reason, starting with division was the way to go here, not multiplication. All right, so what we need to do is review something called the order of operations. And this is one of the most confused uh, aspects of basic mathematics. Now, assuming you understand basic math operations, i.e. know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and you know how to deal with fractions and square roots. Let's just review square roots uh, real quick. So the square root of four, I said, is two. Okay, so what does the square root of a number mean? It means that you're looking for a number such that you multiply it by itself, it gets back to the number that you're trying to take the square root of, right? So the square root of four is what? Well, what number times itself gets back to four? Well, it is two, okay? So the square root of nine is three because three times three is nine. All right, so uh, real basic math stuff here, but don't feel too bad if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it might be basic for you, but I haven't done this in like 50 years. Well, no worries. I'm gonna give you some suggestions on how you can improve, but what we need to do here is understand why division was correct and not multiplication uh, in terms of our first step here because they both seem logical. Okay, why is this right and this wrong? Well, the answer lies in this little phrase right here called PEMDAS. This is what we call the order of operations. So in mathematics, again, a mathematical operator is what we can do with numbers. Like we can add numbers, we can subtract numbers, multiply and divide numbers. We can even take powers of numbers and some other things as well. But we need to follow this checklist and this uh, checklist runs from left to right. Now, before I tell you what these letters uh, stand for, I'm gonna give you a nice little phrase to help you remember PEMDAS and that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally once again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what uh, Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her contributions in mathematics. Now let's go ahead and get into it right now. Okay, so P stands for parentheses. So if we have a math problem and there is some parentheses in it, well, we have to do what's inside of parentheses first. So it's really not just parentheses like these type of parentheses. It uh, could be these kind of brackets or these squiggly brackets. What we're talking about here is grouping symbols. So for example, if I have 10, or sorry, that's two. If I had 10 uh, divided by two times five right here, if I have a problem just like this, well, this problem can change if I put parentheses, I group these numbers together, okay? Now, this is gonna be quite different if I group these numbers together, okay? So the parentheses tell me, hey, uh, start where you are grouping uh, numbers, all right? So you always start with parentheses first. Now, what happens if you have multiple parentheses in your uh, problem or brackets? You could have a situation where you can have parentheses, then brackets, and then some other squiggly brackets, right? So what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, go to the innermost parentheses, get all of this done. You're done with this step once you get everything done inside of the parentheses and just kind of work your uh, way from inside out. All right, so that is P or parentheses. Now let's move on to uh, our next step, and that is E. Now, sometimes you won't have one of these things on our checklist, and that's fine, you just kind of skip through it, but you have to be checking this uh, from left to right. Now, E stands for exponents, but you can think of this as powers. If I have two to the third power, this little three right here is called an exponent, okay? And this two right here is called the base, and two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. All right, so well, again, you know, basic math concepts that hopefully you understand, 
but not every problem is going to have powers in it. You're not going to necessarily see 5 squared, but if you do, that's what you have to do next. Now, this particular problem actually has a bit of a twist to it about uh, exponents. I'll get into that in just one second. But uh, again, E stands for exponents, but think of powers. Now, here is where most people get confused, all right? So this is where a lot of people are like, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what's going on here? Uh, because you said that uh, we do division first in this problem. Matter of fact, let me tell you what these letters stand for. M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for uh, subtraction. So our lovely checklist here says do multiplication first. So why? Uh, is this not correct? We're doing multiplication first, okay? Well, there's a good reason for that, and let me go ahead and tell you that right now. Okay, so most people, I don't want to say most people, a lot of people, and I think this is not stressed enough in uh, a lot of math uh, textbooks, they think strictly, oh, multiplication is next, but that's not the way this works, okay? What is next is multiplication or division, multiplication or division, whatever we see first from left to right. So if we have a problem, and it's this way, 10 uh, times 2 divided by 5, well, we see multiplication first. Okay, so we're going to do the problem this way. But if I had 10 divided by 5 times 2, I see division first from left to right. Because you got to look to see what do you see first from left to right. That's what you do in terms of the next step, multiplication or division, and then addition and subtraction work the same way. Okay, so now that you understand PEMDAS and the order of operations, uh, this is the you know probably the number one reason where most people got this wrong, but it's you know not that difficult. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. And uh, my channel is all about trying to make math clear and understandable. Now, if you've been watching me for some time, thank you so much for following me. You should have not <laughs> gotten this particular problem wrong because I do a lot of basic math problems and I emphasize the importance of the order of operations. Now, why would I do such a thing? Well, when you've been teaching math as long as I have and, uh, you know, graded hundreds of thousands of papers, homework tests, well, I don't know, maybe it could be hundreds, uh, hundreds of thousands. It's a lot of material. You see the trends over and over and over again. I'm pretty sure I was making all these mistakes way back in the good old 1970s and 80s, but my channel is all about trying to share best practices in mathematics, and most importantly, to give those of you that are having a tough time in math encouragement. Never, ever give up. But I need your help as well to reach as many people as possible. So the best way to help me out is to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well so you can find latest videos. Now, for those of you that want to improve in basic math, there's two courses that you can check out. Matter of fact, uh, in my academy, I offer full and complete math courses, but the two that come to mind for those of you that want to improve your basic math skills, check out my Math Foundations course or my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to both of those in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So now that we understand PEMDAS, we're going to say, all right, do we have parentheses? Yes, indeed, we do. Okay, so here's parentheses. So that means we have to focus on what's going on in the parentheses first. All right, so we're going to have to figure out what 16 divided by 2 times 2 is. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. We know we have to focus, again, inside of the parentheses, and we're not going to really be done with this step until we're done with all this math. Okay, so E, do we have any exponents or powers? Nope, so we can skip that. Do we have multiplication or division? Yes. What do we see first from left to right? We see division. So this is where we start first. So we're going to go ahead and do this math and get this down. And we only have division and multiplication, so we don't have to deal with addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and do this problem. So we have 16 divided by 2. Of course, that's 8. And then we have 8 times 2. We're not done with parentheses until, matter of fact, I should really kind of emphasize this step here to really be, uh, you know, really drive this message home. Here we have parentheses. We should keep all our work inside of parentheses. So here's our parentheses. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So we are done. So our answer is 16. But we have to take the square root of 16. And what number times itself is 16? Well, the answer is positive 4. 
All right. Now, I did mention that there's a bit of a twist here for those of you that uh, may know this. Now, taking the square root of a number, okay, the square root of, for example, 9, is the same thing as taking 9 to the 1 half power. If you take any number to the 1 half power, you are literally taking the square root of that number. So if you really wanted to be fancy about this problem, we could have uh, wrote the problem this way. Okay, so if you want to play around with your calculator and take this entire thing to the 1 half power, you can, okay? But you'll get the same answer because, let me go ahead and just uh, erase this. So here is our problem. We're going to take the square root of this or take this to the 1 half power. But remember, in PEMDAS, we still have to get everything inside of the parentheses done before we address exponents. So here, uh, we would go and finally get this down to 16, take 16 to the 1 half power, which of course will be equal to 4. Okay, so never feel bad if you make a mistake getting a math problem wrong. That's a, My channel is definitely not about that. And don't feel bad about guessing as well, all right? So math should be, you know, uh, math is all about making uh, mistakes and learning from those mistakes. You know, it's just like, you know, I kind of like to use the analogy of playing basketball, okay? You know, you're not going to get better at basketball unless you try, right? You try to make a basket, you're going to miss a lot of them. You're going to make a lot of them. You're going to figure out what works and what doesn't work. But what you can't do is just take one shot and be like, oh, look, I made the shot. So therefore, I am perfect in basketball. No, you need to challenge yourself. You need to go over here. You need to go over here. And the only way you're going to get better in math is to practice. Okay, so if you understand this video, that's fantastic. But if you truly want to improve in math, you've got to practice, practice, practice. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.